This is an emergency, I beg an urgent This is a serious case Put some Florida water on my hand before we start. All right, I want you to know I am a direct energy reader. Do not believe in reading zodiac signs and birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. The way this works, I'm gonna be giving you a who is my Orisha guiding me at the moment reading. Now keep in mind, I am not crowning you. I'm just telling you the energy and the headspace you're in. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Alright, I kind of want you to focus on the message a little bit more than anything else, alright? Okay. Get these cards, a couple shuffles, then we will be ready. see what's going on all right now I've taken so the way it worked I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do you 10 card I mean 13 card the first 13 cards is gonna be the Arisha that's over your head space at the moment uh, then I deal 10 cards the first Arisha to pop out of the deck that's gonna be over your actions then I deal seven cards pay close attention to that one because that one typically don't change that's your destiny okay okay with that being said say your first name so I can pray over the cards do I have permission to call? Do, uh, do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes. Okay. So I'm seeing cross. I'm seeing circles crossing. I'm seeing circles. I'm seeing circles crossing. You tell me. I'm seeing circles oh. crossing, like two circles. You know how they look on the Audi? Uh huh. This is what I'm seeing. Hmm. But they saying it more like a dual energy. When these two things cross and come together, they form like one entity. Are you an are you a Gemini? Oh no, I have a sister that's a Gemini. I'm a Sagittarius. I didn't. I, yeah, I, yeah. I don't need to. <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that circle thing crossing forming two energy. It'll probably come out. It'll probably come out. I think I have an idea, but I'm just I'm interested in seeing what's gonna what's gonna come. Damn, two circles crossing each other, making like the Audi symbol and forming a spark. Damn. All right, let's just deal this one. All right, first let's go one, two. All right, you had over your head space at the moment. You have Shango. One, two, three, okay. Over your actions, you have Oshimare. One, okay. two, three, four, five. All right, and at, and at your destiny, you have Iku. This is an interesting lineup. It's, it's, it's interesting that you scored those names because those are some of the names that have been coming to me mm. in dreams and stuff. Mm -hmm, so serious. That's wild. Yeah. I like this. All right. So, uh -huh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say that at, at first I was thinking Oshun, but when you said Shango, it made me think of Oshun. Mm. Yeah, that was the first thing that came to my mind. Now nah, I'm curious to see what they talking about. Yeah, I knew I knew a male entity that was leading me because of a dream I had. But okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. So we're gonna start with your first. And we're gonna start with your with the Risha that's over your head space at the moment. Uh, okay. Start with the Risha that's over your head space at the moment. What you saying? This is why you do the uh, act act the way you act. I mean, sorry. This is why you. Speak the way you speak. Think the way you think. Hear, perceive everything the way you do this. Django is he's 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 quite 
adamant about you taking a goddamn seat. He is so quite adamant about you sitting your ass down just for one hot second to look around you. Okay. He's saying the attitude, the intelligence, the strength, the drive, all that shit is great. He say, but it's like you're a freight train rushing at a, at a speeding bus and you not taking the time to, to look around your surroundings and see that uh, so this is what he you remember the old Thundercat cartoon yeah and you know when Lino pick up that sword and he look between the bitch the hilt and the shit and it form around his eyes like a little mask uh -huh. and then you're like sword of omen give me sight beyond sight and then they'll show him what's going on around him she ain't gonna say, how about you sit your ass down and ask for sight beyond sight so you can see what's going on around you, so you can see the next move you need to make, rock star. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because um, as far as like with my business, I have two very good, you know, businesses that I'm good at. One, um, just being an herbalist. Mm -hmm. Studying people about it, really feeling their energies and stuff. And then I have this party decorating business that I'm very successful in too. And so it's kind of like I really need to step back and really kind of figure out what is it that I really need to do. And then also in my relationship right now, because I've been feeling like I want to step away. And it's just, it's a lot. So it's like him stepping forward and what you just said, it makes a whole lot of sense. Yep. You gotta, he's saying you just gotta see your next move. You on the right track. Everything you got is right, but you're just on the right track. He say step back and put the pieces together. So you can sit up there and you can play a game. You can say, hey, Shango, give me sight beyond sight and make it a joke, but don't joke. Okay, gotcha. Kind of be sarcastic a little bit. Right, because it's a joke. It's a, it's, I'm, he's saying he still wants you to know that you in control. And shit gonna work out the way it's supposed to work out for you. You're gonna win. But at the same time, he's saying, don't you want to pat on the back from the old boy son, go to king to let you know how you're supposed to be a queen? He just giving that smirky smart shit going on. I can see that. Okay. All right. Would you like to ask him a question? Um, is this more of with my marriage, my relationship? Or is it more towards my business is that this, his message is for? Is this message for her relationship? Two questions. Positive change. Positive change. Relationship. Yeah, it's for your relationship. Is this message for her business? Power of joy. Hell, it's for everything in your life. Don't make no rash decisions. Okay, just, just sit back and trust. Yep. Okay. You gonna win. You're doing good. Now we finna go here to your second, uh, second area. This is your second Arisha. Okay. This Arisha, uh, is oh, uh, basically, is over. This is why you do the things you do. Move the way you move. Excuse me. Move the way you move. React the way you react. In this area right here, you have Ocean Mayor. Having Ocean Mayor in your house of action. Now Ocean Mayor is a is a talking card. But when it comes to him being in an action car, this is you decorating yourself, your surroundings, your community, your people, your kids. Uh, so Ocean Mayor say, this is you pretending as if you got the shit together when there's gaps and there's holes. So you're putting on a show, he says. Now, putting on this show, you're probably saying, okay, me and Todd is per doing pretty good. Uh, me and the kids all right. I got the, all this braid. I got this money. I got my shit together when at night you kind of breaking down You're losing control and you kind of like wondering thinking what what I'm gonna do next. You follow me? He yeah. said this is yeah. the this is an act you're putting on now his message to you as far as this act that you're putting on He's saying okay, never let a bitch see you sweat Definitely don't let your enemy see you sweat because you got two of them around you now the enemy you got around you I'm gonna say she's kind. She dressed real scantily, busty as fuck, scantily dressed girl. Uh, but she's a. Uh, I want to say a low haircut. Low haircut probably the is like one of them low wigs that you put on your head. She she wearing something like this, saying this is 
Like she is just a mouthy fucker that can be your enemy if you piss her off. Do you got anybody around you you need to watch out for like this? Yeah, exactly. Um, my youngest sister is exactly that way. She's busty. She's yeah. Where some clothes that look a little bit too little, <laughs> and her hair is cut short, and she wears a lot of wigs. And, you know, she dresses and stuff a lot. And it's more one of those things where if you don't say what she wants or how she wants it, then she'll turn on you real quick. So I kind of handle her with a long wooden spoon. All right. I need you to uh, handle that bitch with a chain. Uh, Hook a a chain to her ass and send her in the middle of the ocean fishing. Because she... You know, she already knows. She already knows what it is. Yeah, so she got, but he's saying this this thing right here knows your secret and they could unravel everything that you have going on for yourself. Uh, you know what, it is crazy because I'm thinking of different people, but the people that, that you described, it, it fits a few people, so I'll definitely know how to handle them. Thank you. Yeah, so just I really just have to watch what I say to them. Exactly. Uh, now Oshie Mary is licking his tongue at you and saying, yeah, she's smart. So good. He happy. Would you like hey, that? I am too. Because a lot of <laughs> things are really coming forward. Like things that I've felt and I've been knowing, it's, it's, really, it's really coming forward for me. So I appreciate that. All right. Would you like to ask him a question? Um... What does he want to tell me? What else does he want to tell me? I don't know exactly what I want to know. So Anything? whatever he wants to say, I'm open for it. Anything you want to tell her about the way she should move? Take charge of the situation. Work your magic. And find the blessing in your current situation. Now, this is going to be crazy. But I want you to listen to me good. Work your magic. Take charge of the situation. Find the blessing in your current situation. He's saying, I need for you to spread a false lie. He said, I need for you to spread a lie. Something that you know that this person will take and try to spread it to make that person look foolish. Oh, so, that's hard for me. I'm, but I, I got it. I got it. I'm going to be receptive to it because I asked him to, to tell me, so I got to do it. Yeah, so you, you, tell, you, you go and then you say, hey, you know I've been dating Calvin on, on Todd. And you don't even know a Calvin. Calvin is made up. Go to your mate and say, hey, I let her know. I told her I'm saying, however you put it up. And you say, because I want to leave her alone for good. Then once everybody else start bringing that shit around or some, some along that line, some that you know that can fuck you up if she found out but make it false. Spirit say, once you realize that this person, that it will expose all your enemies because you will see who she's talking to. Getting them to believe you. Getting them to believe her over you. So he's saying this is a yeah. tactical thing you should be doing. So take off the goody good girl panties and put on your thongs and be tactical as fuck. Oh, God. I mean, I, I get it. But you know what? Now I think about it, I think that's maybe more of my older sister. Um, I wish I had more time to really break it down what's happened in the last eight or nine months. But... That could be my older sister too because she's been doing everything she can to try to pull people away from me. And I'm just like, I haven't been saying anything. You know, I've just been sitting back being quiet like, you're going to expose yourself, you know. And so the opposite has actually been happening where people have been leaving her alone. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but I don't I don't talk to her at all, so I'm not sure how the message could get to her or whatever. Yeah. But listen to what the call I, just said. You're not sure how the message can get to her. How many girls in this family? How many of y'all sisters? It, it's four of us and all. So it's for you. You don't know how the message can get to your other sister, but you got a younger sister uh-huh. who all in your business that talk to the other sister, whether you talk to him or not. Uh huh. Also, really, it is my younger sister. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. It, it's crazy that you're saying this because one of my questions that I wanted to ask you was, I was like, you know, let you know, like, I've been cutting off a lot of people in my life since my mom passed away, and did I cut off the right people, and if there's anybody else that I need to cut ties with, so, oh my God. And he just gave oh. you the pack. Um, I was just saying that, you know, I do have a lot going on right now, and that how everyone around me 
and out of public think that I just have everything together. Even my kids, my husband do it kind of think like, how you stand so strong, you know, your mom just passed away, she lived with us, you know, so that's all my kids know and my friends know the relationship that me and my mom had and then I have these two successful businesses and they're like, how you got everything together? And when you said that, you know, it's like I'm putting on a front, it's not like I'm putting on a front, it's more like I can't allow for myself to break because if I do, then I, I don't feel that I would have the strength to put it back together. So, yeah. in a way, I guess it is a problem because at night, I am crying to myself away from my husband and my kids. And, you know, I don't reveal all of that to people. I just keep it to myself and just keep pushing. So, that part was spot on. I hear you. So, now we got one more to go yeah, through. Spot on. <laughs> we got one more to go to. Now, we're going to go over to your third, Arisha. Uh, third area. This one is your destiny. Pay close attention to this one because this one typically don't change uh, like the other two could. In this area, you have Iku. Having Iku in this area, what Iku is saying about your destiny, Iku is saying you're destined to cut people off. And I mean, they, she's saying she had the scythe and she said, do you, she's literally saying, do you want to hold it? She's asking you, do you want to hold it like you can do this shit on your own? You, she, she don't have to be here. She just have to supervise you. So she want to make sure you cut the right people off. Everybody want to make sure they cut the right people off and you take a step back so you can see this shit. So you can get the best gains and rewards. Now, she's saying, now it's time for you to ask questions about your husband. She's saying, let her deal with, she told all of them, let me deal with the question about her husband. So she's saying she's going to guide the scythe. She's going to let you get the scythe, but she's going to instruct you when to cut the cords, how to cut the cords, and who to cut the cords to. But she says she wants you to focus on your husband. So if you're going to ask a question here, ask a question about your husband or relationships. Relationships. Oh, I got a lot. Hey, we ain't got that much time. You ain't going to have me of okay, 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 okay. So the question that I want to know is, do I need to leave? Did that just the honest thing? Do I need to leave and how I need to leave or should I stay and make it work? Eco, what's your take on her husband? You you brought you opened your skull up, literally, you open your mouth. What you say about her husband? Priorities. What's the priority, man? I meant lady. Artistic priorities, lie, artistic expression. Stay focused. Priorities. Uh they saying make it work. It's a priority. Artistic expression meaning be creative and to stay focused. So I don't think it's time for you to leave this person right now. So she's basically saying stay. Stay with this person. Has he been doing anything bad? Because she is because she literally had to step in and stop you from making a bad decision and leaving your husband. So Uh yeah, you know, I walked in on one of his friends telling him that if he would tell him he should continue messing with this girl. Mm. And um, it's just, it's like our relationship at home was, I feel like it was perfect, you know, the perfect love story, but it's like other men start coming into the picture and getting his ear, like, oh, your wife is so strong, oh, you, you know, because he helped me out with my business, oh, you, you take the man from your wife and it's not even that, you know, it's like when there was no labels and we just, did it together, everything was fine. So it's like later it's been a constant battle with him, um, with me just asking for him to do certain things. You know, it's like he has to show like, oh, I'm the man, I'm over you, and you're gonna listen, and I ain't gotta listen to what you say. It's been one of those type of battles lately. That's and right. I have a bad considering to leave him, I have. Eku said that's just bullshit. He's off the market. You done took him off the market. Now nah, it ain't just a fuck thing no more. This is real life. And he got these dumbass friends around him that's going to ruin what God gave him. I mean, you got money. You got wealth. You got beauty. You got pristine. You're something. You're somebody. He's finna lose out. Only thing Spirit's saying is it's up to you to get his ass correct. Now, remember Eku said she's going to hand you the site to be precise how you guide, guide this person to cut off this and that. So how about how about you start getting him to cut off his friends so he can think and be a good person? How about you start doing that? How about you be strategic with the cuts? Get your sister in that match of life. Don't have him turning his head looking at they bouncing ass titties and shit around him. You following me? 
I need yeah. you to be very specific. These hoes ain't loyal out here. You know what I'm saying? And they will come at your man. They'll come, they'll have the friends coming there. They get in your business. You know, get, do yourself a favor. She's saying you got to learn. You're a great person. I can see the cards, but you gotta know who the fuck to cut off. And she says she will guide you. Just ask Iku, what about this one? And if she show you any negative thing, for some reason you got a headache that night, that bitch gone out your life the next day. Got you. But you I got feel, I feel good about this. It, it makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I mean it's Oh, I just wish I just had an hour so I can just tell you just everything. Because you can be like, damn. Yeah, like, you can know, be like, yeah, I, I know I'm the shit. I, yeah, I know that. You know, it, it's going to really help validate even more of everything that you just told me. But, yeah, uh, it, it, it makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense. And what's crazy is I had a dream about my Orishas. I had a dream, and I didn't know anything about the Orishas or nothing, and um, an Orisha came to me, with was a guy, and they were like testing me. I seen two guys, and I seen a lady, and I just didn't know who she was. At first, I was thinking that it was on show, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah, so it, it's just crazy, and they were literally just testing me. They Like the guy, he was doing all the testing, and he was just running me so fast while he was testing me, you know. Yes, like, she just don't even know. She just don't know. It was like he was playing pranks on me in a way, but like he was trying to teach me something too. Yeah. You got it made, oh, sister. Yeah. You got it made. Just get them them vultures and them leeches and shit from around you. Them bitches that want to see you, them jealousies, get them from around you. All right? Okay, gotcha. I appreciate it. No problem. If you need to reach me, you know how. Okay, I sure will. Thank you. You have a good one. You too, darling. Bye. All right, everybody. That was a good one, a quick one. Uh, well, it wasn't quick, but it was good. <laughs> Spirit came down and told her she she's a well-off woman. Do high value. Before I get started, explain. Like this video. Share this video. Tag a friend. Uh, she got a good she got a good thing going for herself it's just that these sisters of hers the scantily dressed no good sisters of hers need to be out of her life or be out of her relationship they backstabbers and these Arisha showed up to let her know to take a step back put some misinformation in there and cut them loose when they betray her trust because she got a great future and she shouldn't give up on her man because she just took him out the market they was kicking it now they together. It's a transitional period. Seriously, be art, be artistic with it, and stay focused. It's gonna work out for the best for them. I love this reading. Positive comments below, everybody. All right, everybody. I'm the Baron, telling you guys to trust you in universe. Because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you all. So we'll try. Can you hear me? Okay. I can. All right. We're going to be doing a Who Is My Arisha guiding me at the moment reading. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs of birthday. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. The way it works, I'm going to deal 13 cards. The first Arisha to pop out of my deck, you know, 13 card. That's going to be the Arisha that's over your head space at the moment. I'm not crowning you, just telling you why you do the things you do and what and who's influencing, okay? Then I deal 10 cards. The first Arisha to pop out of that one, that's the Arisha that's over your actions. I deal, I deal 7 cards. Pay close attention to that one. That one typically is your destiny. It typically won't change, alright? Alright. Alright, I'm having a hard time here. Oh yeah, I'm shuffling the cards right now. Once I stop shuffling, you'll hit me pretty good. Now that I got that out of the way, I want you to say your first name so I can pray over the card. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. All right. 
so before we get jumping off into this thing, uh, do you what what do you know about silk and incense? Like a room walking into a, you walking into a room full of silk and incense, almost like a Persian thing. Anything Persian kick out to you? So I'm not familiar. I'm just um, I'm not really familiar with it until it comes like my best friend really introduced me to it. Okay, so so you have somebody that introduced you to the Persian thing. Yes. Okay, I just that I I reason why I asked that question. I wanted to let you know I'm tapping in. All right, so let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the reason that's over your head space at the moment is a shoe. Okay, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn. You have elect bar over your actions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you don't you don't have a destiny. Uh let me ask one of these spirits, can they uh any one of you guys wanna be hit wanna help him out with his destiny? He's can he he's confused at the moment. He don't know which way to go. Do y'all want to help so seven I, uh, cards? From the beginning, uh, what you said was over my head space. You're sounding very muffled, so I didn't catch anything you said. Don't worry, I'll, I'll run it back to you. Okay. One, two. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So, so let me just go ahead and get started. So, we're going to go with, we're going to start with the Richard that's over your head space at the moment. Keep in mind, I'm not crowning you. Can you hear me okay? Yes. All right. We're going to start with your first, uh, first Arisha. This is the Arisha that's over your head space. This is why you think the way you think, speak the way you speak, see things the way you see things. Uh, also, I'm going to say here the way you hear things, perceive, perception. And this, and this Arisha here is SU. And if you know anything about SU, he's the earthly gatekeeper. You know, he's that guy that says, okay, which way are you going to go when you get to earth? Uh, he, he controls everything you do on this earthly plane. Now, what he's telling me about you and your headspace is, are you pretending to be something or are you have, have, you have not fully, you have not fully given in to, to who you really are? Because he keeps saying you're wearing a mask. But you're wearing a mask, but you're at the crossroad at the same time. Like you don't know which way to go. You got your mask on, but it's a good time. You know it's a good time either way you go. Let's say you can go to the house party or you can go to the club. Either way, it's a good fucking time. But he says you're at this point in your life where you're confused about crossing over or something like that. Uh, this is your headspace now. Before I let you ask him a question, he says, "What? Why? Why is the 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 narcotics, or I don't want to say drugs, liquor, but the self medication? What's going on with this form of self medication that he say this can become a habit if you don't make a decision real quick? You following what I'm saying? Would you like to ask him a question?" Oh, you can respond and ask the question. That's the, that's the that's the purpose of the reading. All right, you you okay. ain't going to get a different. You ain't going to find a tarot reader like me, Pop. We get we. I, I'm in now. <laughs> so basically, I am literally in the process of um, almost leaving a career after 24 years as a flight attendant, going into being hired as a police officer. Um, I'm not necessarily confused about this move. Uh, I'm actually very excited and ready to do it. I have had um, issues with alcohol and drugs that I took myself to a treatment center. Um, and that was the biggest fear about applying as a police officer because that question, those, that line of question comes up in the application process. And that was the biggest fear of being rejected was that line of questioning. Okay. Um, but I've resided to the fact that it's my past. It happened. It won't, you know, stifle my future and I'm going forward so that's really it okay so 
and, and that's great. That's great. But what Spirit is telling me, and if you just want to just ask him a question and move on, that's cool. But he's saying that's great. That's cool. Career, boom, do it. You're going to make it. Whatever you do. But he, Spirit is more concerned about some other decision you have to make in your life. It's not a career-based decision. This is this has to do with a personality trait. So, if you don't want to ask him a question, I'll move on to your actions. But uh, but just know that he's saying this is standing as a personality trait. Can you can be more specific? Yeah, uh, it's you. They want you to be more specific. Be more specific. He said, stay focused. Focus upon your strength. Purification. All right. This is saying make the hard choice. He says stay focused. Focus upon your strength and purification. This is you letting, letting, just basically taking the gloves off. Because he's saying what the fuck is stopping you? Why are you so in fear of letting everybody see who you are? If Man, if you a shit kicker, you a punch a bitch in their face, lose it. If you a sensitive person, man, and you just want to help everybody like Mother Teresa, do it. But there is something there that's in conflict with you. And they saying, focus upon your strength. You're stronger when you're at your best, when you're at your truest. You know, stay focused in purification. That's all. Purification means just dissolve that other part of you when the time is right. You got me? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna dig too deep. I do. I see. I see it, but you gotta see it. All right. Now we're gonna go over here to your. We're gonna go over here to your uh, second area. This is the reason that's over your actions. This is why you do the things you do. Move the way you move. React the way you react. And in this area right here, you have elect Ba. And if you know anything about elect Ba, elect Ba is the heavenly gatekeeper. You know, he's the one that right before you get to talk to God, right before you get that Kundalini raised up, that Kundalini got to go through him. Before you get to talking to God, before you get into your manifestation, your dream world, you have to go through elect, but he opens the door for you to get where you need to go. Now, why is he in your action? You have SU, earthly gatekeeper, and you have elect by heavenly gatekeeper in your action. So, what's in your mind, you're at a crossroad. You have to make a decision. Once you make that decision, the sky's the limits. That's what he's saying. If you make that decision, you can live so free, happy, and clean. So once you leave that flight attendant, and you notice flight is the whole thing. Once you come up from the, once you leave the air and come to the ground and become that law enforcement officer, the sky's the limits. You're gonna take off, but you gotta be real with yourself when you're doing all the the the. And who's the Leo? I mean, not the Leo. Who's the Libra? Uh, that's an October, October, September, October in that area, end of September, October. Okay, so they saying you're gonna get some assistance from a Libra to help you understand balance in your life. But that's basically what they're saying. But in your actions, you have elect by and elect by saying everything you do is getting you to your higher purpose, to your fulfillment of yourself. Okay. Okay. So keep doing what you're doing. Take your time. Weigh the pros and cons. Mm. And get where you got to go. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, this is action. Action. Okay. Um, action, action. I'm... I'm Okay. Um, and I think a lot of times I have made like made the mistake of rushing something or not allowing something to run its course. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm really trying to practice patience here. Um. So in regards to actions, you know, I guess I would ask, you know, am I kind of moving at the at the right pace or the end, you know, in that space where I'm doing differently, patient wise. How is this patience, spirit? How is this patience? What you, you want to know? Your patience is retreat to nature. Good. Right. 
I like that. Health and healing. You are moving in the right place. You're taking your time. Uh, again, lay off the lay off any form of drinking or cannabis. Lay off any form of that. No more of that right now because that was a big thing that was hindering your patience or stifling your growth. But health and healing, you are on the right track. Okay? Okay. Now we're going to go over to your third card. This is your destiny. Now, what they're showing me and Spirit said, you, I don't want to offend you. And if I do offend you, I do apologize. But I can't, I, I can't, I, and if you, if you ever watch me on the, on the tube, man, I can only say what Spirit telling me. Okay? So we're going to go over here to your, to your destiny. Your destiny t is, is typically don't change. This is what you end up becoming or what you end up doing. And in this area, you have Oshun. You have Oshun as your destiny. And keep in mind, Oshun chose to come here because she's saying that you didn't make a decision. So she had to come here for you to make a decision. Now, in this area, as with Oshun being in your destiny, why is Oshun showing me something along uh, a lot of feminine energy? And I'm being tactful with my words, so please help me out. Uh, so, the only, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, so I didn't have any like men growing up around me, basically. Like, one of my uncles was in prison all the time, one of my aunts married. Um, but ironically, a buddy of mine, um, who is a very well-known gospel singer, shared the same thing with me at a, uh, was it, it was last year, towards the end of last year. Okay. And basically said almost the exact same thing, is you've got to get from around, you know, the feminine energy because it's, you know, it's what emotions and, you know, those kinds of things, you've got to get around some men. Right. Not that I have, like, the characteristics but it's just the energy of it all so okay i'm so i'm glad you admitted that that's the thing of me because now let me tell you something and i'm just, and i and i'm telling you um if you don't believe i'm a real psychic go watch my shit i'm, I'm telling you so i don't want to offend you again let me tell you something about experimentation notice what i'm telling you experimentation is 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 cool and i see a lot of males attempting to experiment with you you liking you i just fucking said I, I i'm trying to be tactful because boy i don't want it no smoke off the internet you, you follow me uh that shit i i can handle a spiritual attack but to be approached by a lot of lgtbq ik i think I, my daughter said it's another letter in there somewhere uh okay. th what they're saying is this is something that you may end up gravitating towards. This is what all the whole reading is saying. Now, I don't know if, okay, you have experimented, it's, it's a buy thing, but I got to tell you the truth, and I'm holding back, and Baron is poking me in the back of the head. He say, let him know. So, there's a lot of males with feminine energy around you, and they are really liking you. Now, this is going to put you in a spot to accommodate them. So if this is not the way you are or not the way you want to go, be on your P's and Q's. But if this is something that you can like, Spirit say this is something you can grow from. This is what they're telling me. So again, I don't want to offend, but I got to say what the cause is saying. You said um, a lot of males are feeling energy is, will be around me. And this would be an opportunity to, what, would, what was it to them? <laughs> So it would be an opportunity for like a, an exploration for y'all to hook up or whatever. But if oh. that's not what you into, and then he said, just try to maneuver away from that, okay? okay. Because it's circling your heavy, man. It's like a like a it's like the, the what you call them in the Wild Wild West. They say circling the wagon. Yeah, yeah. So it's around you, but Oshun is saying. This can really become a part of your personality, your life. Okay. And again, I got to reiterate, this is not anything bad. If this is not your lifestyle, put a stop to it. If this 
is something that you can deal, you will go far with it. But what about if it brings conflict? Now we're getting somewhere. If you, if your life, if let's say you you dig this lifestyle, and I'm going to look at conflict on both sides. Let's say you dig this lifestyle, and people around you, from your profession, your family, etc., it brings conflict. They're saying it will not last long. It'll be one or two little gossiping words ciphering here and there. Then it's out the window. Then they said, now that's if you choose to be. If you choose not to be, there is going to be an admiration thing. Be like, damn, I want him. It's like builds your star quality. You can't lose. No matter what you choose, that's why ba that's why not Baron. Excuse me, Baron. Sorry. That's why SU was saying there's a crossroad. There's a choice you need to make at that crossroad. Flight attendant, the police officer. There's a choice. Heterosexual or LGBT. There's a choice. You know, I mean, there's a there's a linear choice down here. But do not have your mind constipated with any kind of form of drinking or drugging. Why you're making this decision? Okay. But I see you. But all in all, I see you winning 100. percent Would you like to ask Oshun a question? And I'm not giving you the option. I really need you to ask her a question because she chose to come here. Okay. Um. Yeah. So it's just. Um. Gosh. Trying to find the peace and balance um, or clarity in my space in making a decision is what I found most challenging. Because the very question of how do I get out of this or how do I could live in it has been a question I've asked, but I've never seemed to have found an answer or any clues or, you know. Gotcha. Now, I like that. I like that. And with that being said, now, so now you realize what the other two cars were saying prior to getting down here to Oshun. Now, with that being said, I need you to ask Oshun a question. You want this man. You want him to be. You want him to be your child. You chose this man and I see what you're saying. My question to you is, will you give him a definite yay or nay? And if he decide yay or nay on what you give him, will you be there to protect him? This is all he knows. You see his future. You showed me his future. Definite sign. Positive change. There you go. You'll see it. Positive change. She talking. She said positive change for you. You need to choose peace and accept this. And he said balanced career and home life. Not only if you choose peace and accept this, you're going to get a positive change, but your career takes off, man. You, you get protected. So there is no conflict. So once, as she said, there's a lot of males with feminine energy around you. If this is something you choose to do, it's going to be okay. If you choose not to do this, it's going to be okay. But what she's saying is she is heavily pushing you towards this because this is where a prize is at for you. And I've never seen an Orisha or a spirit tell me they want somebody to join the LGBTQ community. I never had that, but this is what they're saying. So, again, I don't want to offend you, but i got to tell you what my car said. But put it like this, when everything starts going right in your life, you she says she's going to give you the strength and she's going to protect you. Again, positive change. When you see everything looking up for you, you win. Choose peace. When you learn to be at peace with what you decide, if you don't go all the way into the world, the in and out thing, if that work, cool. 
But then they said, balanced career and home life, you will not have nothing to worry about. You just got to get true to yourself with this one. All right? How did you like your reading? It was terrifying for me. I thought you were going to jump through the phone and beat me up. I'm just, yeah. I'm just bullshitting. Yeah, yeah this, this, these readings get pretty invasive, I know. Oh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, it, it's kind of cool because, yeah, if I can't figure it out, I'd like to know and, you know, I, I don't have a problem with going bare skin just to, you know, learn some things, discover some things, uncover some things, you know. Gotcha. So, yeah. Well, this was your reading, man. I hope you got some from it, man. I mean, I'm really, I mean, the the Oshun is really proud of you. She 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 liking what she see in you, and that's 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 rough, man. That's that's pretty cool, though. Okay. So, right. if, if you can burn a yellow candle for her, throw a little honey in that motherfucker and say thank you. Keep protecting me. Okay. That's all you gotta do. All right. All right. Any other thing you want to ask before I get off this phone? Uh, no. So how do you, pretty much, um, you know, after these readings, how do you, you know, how is it like you move forward? Do you just kind of focus on these areas? Right. Talk, you know, That's it. After the reading, people typically write them down. They focus on what spirit tells them. They focus on those areas. And then they take their time and they really examine their life. Trust me, you don't need to call 30 times. Trying to figure shit out. Don't let the reading stress you because you got all the answers inside of you. I am not one of them readers that's going to have you on the tag every week and every month. When If you feel the need to call to get more clarity, that's what you do. That's on the time you book. But you got all the answers inside of you because they lay it out so easy for you, okay? Wow, okay. I appreciate you. All right now, brother. You have a good one. All right, thanks. Take care. All right, everybody. That was... uh. That was new. Hey, hell, what can I say? That was new for me. Uh, I had to say what the spirit said. I, I didn't want to offend nobody, and and I don't want to ever offend any anybody I read. So that's why I stumbled a little bit in that. But it is what it is. The brother got a great future ahead of him. He just got to make the decision to do exactly what it is spirit telling him to do. And he got protection money. He just need to be at peace. And a lot of brothers and sisters go through this until they accept and once he accept they got him hit that like button positive comments below let me hear your comment matter of fact any comment let me hear you let me hear what you thought was reading because it was kind of tough on me but i want to hear what you say i'm serious i'm going to be looking for the comments and i will respond to this video all right everybody i'm the baron telling you guys to trust you in universe because at the end of the day y'all you got please like share and subscribe thank you all thank you all so try